Hi guys, let's look at the homework questions of exercise 4D. So, question number 7, that was your homework. It says, if 3x minus 4 upon x is equal to 4, x is not equal to 0, find the value of 27x cubed minus 64x cubed. So, what we are basically looking at is cubing both the sides. So, 3x minus 4 upon x, the whole cube is equal to 4 cube. Now, if I expand this, this will be 27x cubed minus 64 x cube minus 3 times 3 x into 4 upon x multiplied with 3 x minus 4 upon x. Let's reconfirm a minus b whole cube is equal to a cube minus b cube minus 3 a b multiplied with a minus b is equal to 64. Yes, that's also correct. So we need to figure out the value of this. So 27 x cube minus 64 upon x cube this x and this x gets cancelled so 3 into 3 9 9 into 4 36 and 3x minus 4 upon x is equal to 4 is equal to 64 so what we have is 27 x cube minus 64 x cube is equal to 64 plus 36 into 4 that's 120 and 24 so that's 144 this would be equal to 200 and so 27x cube minus 64 upon x cube is equal to 208. Let's look at the next one. It says if x is equal to 1 upon x minus 5 and x is not equal to 5, calculate the value of x cube plus 1 upon x cube. So let's cross multiply. What we have is x square minus 5x is equal to 1. I need x in the denominator, so I divide both sides by x. What we get is x minus 5 is equal to 1 upon x, which means, have I done this right? Question number 10, yes, oh, I have written the question wrong. That's why I was getting this wrong. Uh, the question is not x minus 5, the question is 5 minus x. Well, let me redo this one. Okay, give me a second. So what we have here is 5 minus x. So what this gives me is 5x minus x square is equal to 1. Divide both sides by x. What we get is 5 minus x is equal to 1 upon x, which means 5 is equal to x plus 1 upon x. Now this is the basic thing we need to calculate x cube plus 1 upon x cube. So let's take the cube of both the sides. So x plus 1 upon x cube would be equal to 5 cube. I know a plus b whole cube is equal to a cube plus the second term cube plus 3 times in this case a into b will give me 1 only x plus 1 upon x and that's equal to 5 cube which is 125 which means x cube plus 1 upon x cube plus 3 multiplied with 5 is equal to 125, which means x cube plus 1 upon x cube is equal to 125 minus 15. So x cube plus 1 upon x cube would be equal to 110. Correct, that's the final answer. Let's look at the last homework question. The last homework question is question number 11. It says if 3a plus 5b plus 4c is equal to 0, then so we've done these kind of questions earlier this is also a identity but since they're asking us to prove it let's do it and let's solve it so this is 3a plus 5b will be equal to negative 4c when i take the cube of both sides so 3a plus 5b the whole cube would be equal to negative 4c the whole cube uh, this is 9 uh, 27a cube plus 125b cube plus 3 into 3a multiplied with 5b multiplied with 3a plus 5b would be equal to negative 64c cube which means 27a cube plus 125b cube plus I am bringing negative 64 on this side plus 64c cube plus 3 into 3 9 9 into 5 45 ab multiplied with 3a plus 5b is equal to negative 4c minus 4c is equal to 0. 
So this is 27a cube plus 125d cube plus 64c cube is equal to, well, 45 into 4 is 180 abc. It's negative when I take it on the other side becomes plus. So that's 180 abc. Done. Simple one. Only three questions as homework. Take care. Be safe. If you have any queries, please feel free to write into to me. Bye-bye.